So traditionally, kind of an app is thought of as a as a recipe, and you know we kind of say do a do b do c, kind of a sequential operation, and that's how we think of software as a as a recipe. Um, and you know this was great for kind of computational formulaic. Um, kind of software like which that's what computers were used for in in you know traditionally right um, and in fact our languages are still based on this kind of recipe analogy okay do A do B do C um, but with App Inventor you know we use a different analogy and it's, it's called the event handling analogy we think of an app as an event handling entity and you know if you think about a phone right you've got a phone and it's got this app in here that's running and it really what the app does is it kind of responds to events right so you've got this user who's who's using the phone sorry about my picture of this person you know that's so there's kind of end user events coming in but you got maybe a text comes in your app could respond to that or a phone call um, you might have GPS sensor telling you where the location is of the app. Um, maybe something comes in from the web. You know, so all these events occur, and the job of the app is to to respond to them. You know, another one is um, you've got a clock in here, and the clock sends kind of timer events, right? So for animation, that kind of thing, we need timer events. So anyway, your app is a set of event handlers um, as opposed to like a single uh, recipe all right so there's really not kind of this main program where we do a do b do c um, instead it's this entity that handles responses it's a set of event handlers um, so let's let's talk about let's talk about an app where you know the hello per app which is you know there's a picture of a kitty when you touch the kitty, um, the kitty meows, a sound plays. So with that app, you've got a button, and the user clicks it. That's the event. Okay. So in this case, we're talking about an end user event, um, and the block looks something like that. Okay. And when the button is clicked, we play a sound. And the sound component already has set the which sound to play or which sound file to play and maybe we vibrate okay so hello purr is a very simple app it's actually as you can see it's got one event handler you know most apps will have multiple event handlers um, in this case there's just one event handler the event handler is the whole thing the event handler is the event, which in this case is button.click, and then it's got a response. Okay, so it's one event handler. It's got the event, which is the user clicking the button, and its response is calling these two functions. One plays a sound, and one makes the phone vibrate. Um, what we call these guys in here are function calls. Okay, so kind of if you want to think about the architecture of an app, an app is a set of event handlers where each event handler is an event and then a response where that response is a sequence of function calls. So kind of this response, that's where your recipe comes in, right? It's kind of like a recipe. So instead of one recipe for our program, we've got a bunch of events that occur, and our app responds to those events by running through steps like in a recipe.